I think it's finally time to get back to Skyrim, man. Uh, for me, it's been like over a week or so since I played. And I, I, honestly, it's probably been that long since I uploaded it too, because it's, it's, it's been a lot going on. But hey, and we finally found the time now and thinking be more consistent and everything. I'm ready to just dive right in. For the past few videos, we've just been kind of doing the side quest and you know, that, that that's a great thing to do don't get me wrong but at the same time we need to meet those gray beards already like we got these dudes waiting so alongside that i want to say um alongside skyrim i want to start playing bloodborne for the channel it looks super fun i have the game it seems like people on youtube like watching people play bloodborne for the first time so uh, i've sampled the game but never gotten you know farther than just an hour or so of the game i guess but that was years ago so uh it's been a long time so i'm excited to actually try out uh that game and continue skyrim so i, I also really want to stream spider-man 2 so we got a lot going on here but spider-man 2 won't be their own videos it'll just be streaming it uh you know leaving the vods up for you guys that want to watch it but it's mostly just going to be skyrim and bloodborne so if you're excited for that and haven't already hit the like button for your boy let me know you want more videos like this one and subscribing to the channel will keep you notified for when these videos come out so without further ado this is skyrim let's go meet those gray beards all right we're finally back in skyrim and lydia's here i swore she was dead when i last played this but we're not gonna question it. i tend to realize there are some things in life you just don't question and this is definitely one of them oh okay so we want to find the gray beards um i thought they had said we had to go up the mountain or past the mountains and yeah the the caravan is not here i keep wanting to call the the cat people uh Mikote from like I'm freaking playing Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> no, they're Khajiit here. So um let's see here. I have it already selected. Um hold up. So the way of the voice. Wait, no, take that off. Show on map. Iver Iverstead. So you have to go up this mountain. Hold up, let me take that off. So you have to go up that mountain. Can I just go down from High Hrothgar? Would that be the fastest way? I've not discovered that place. Oh, oh I thought I'd been to High Hrothgar. Okay, well, I don't know what the fastest way to, to get there is. Do we have to go there on foot? Or we have to cut through the mountain? I think we can cut through the mountain. Can we go through Riverwood? Let, let's go through Riverwood and, and go up the mountain that way. It seems like we might be able to go ahead and and do it through there. So is it OK? It does have the point. I don't have a random marker on them. Yeah, I, I just put one. OK, you can use. OK, I keep forgetting you can use the WASD to do that. So we do need to go that way. Uh, something tells me that there's going to be a lot of running in this session, so yeah okay i'm not gonna lie i was not confident that this would actually lead the way there but now that i'm kind of getting uh, you know up there and i'm leaving the, the village behind it's starting to feel like i am going the right way <laughs> so and hey i'm sure every adventurer has felt that way in some capacity is it uh hold up we got our first fork in the road uh i'm gonna assume Okay, we technically just want to go around, so we shouldn't need to scale the entire mountain. I think it's trying to get me, no. Going that way can definitely lead me to Helgen, but I don't want to go to Helgen. So I do think we can go this way, but don't go to Helgen, because what's the point? Like, we've already been there. And technically going to Helgen might have been, hold up, we're going to Helgen might have actually been faster. We can literally just go up from Helgen and then go over there. Yeah, there's a pathway there. We literally could just eliminate some of it and just, bro, okay. You gotta, you gotta learn efficiency in Skyrim. That's something we gotta remember. Efficiency. Wait, Helgen, wasn't that where I was? No, wait, have, have I been here? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, do, do, don't even go inside Helgen. Don't, don't go inside. Iverstead, and that's this way. Sure, do they mean that way or they, they meant this way? Yeah, okay, see? 
Wait, what was the sound? Whoa! Whoa, 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 bandits! Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, why are they? Golden Sword Flames, okay. Wait, I don't have. Why, why were bandits randomly attacking us? Wait, is there a bandit raid at Helgen? Cause that's kind of crazy. They knew we were here. Hold up. Guys, I know what I said. I know what I said, but. Whoa. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Helgen was where we first were. Oh yeah, this is where the dragon attacked. Yeah, and everybody's freaking gone. I guess bandits decided to just loot what might have been left. And this is. Whoa. Hopefully I don't I don't hurt Lydia when I do this. Oh my goodness. So, so one of you guys was telling me to uh that you, there's actually a better uh oh staff of familiar. I mean, I'll take that. That why oh, here's something. Somebody? Who's that? Oh, they're over there. Oh, we can't get over there. Um, but when you guys were telling me that there was like a better um, character like you can get as a helper, I don't remember how you're able to do that, but I mean, Lydia's been fine so far. You know, I don't really have any real gripes. Like I've never thought to myself, dang, Lydia, you should be better. I mean, there was that one time, you know, uh, you know, at the beginning of the last video. But other than that, OK, actually, can we cut over this? We can. OK, can I do this? So I didn't realize we could go and liberate Helgen. So there's still people here. No one best an orc, huh? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. here, here, y'all go. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you're stuck, stuck, buddy. Dang. Y'all have nothing, bro. What are y'all doing bumming out here, you know, in this abandoned and destroyed village when y'all not even getting nothing, bro? Like, bro, I'm about to get out of here. Uh, fine. I know the adventurer heart in me is telling me to, to check, but why, why can I not freaking get in there? Can't vault, homie? Oh, they went through the back, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I like that. Coin purse, I'll take that. And potions? Okay, I'm kind of glad I did that because there's more talking. Search the end table. There was that, the one girl, her shop is crazy expensive. Well, not crazy expensive, but you know, like expensive for my diet. Oh yeah, this is where I would have met my, uh, my fate. So is this, this it? Can't hide from me forever. Who's hiding? I'm trying to find you. Where are you at? You're talking like you about to do something to me. Like, like what is that? All right. Give me that money, lockpick, minor healing, steal and get, why not sell that, you know? Okay, goodbye. All right, we said screw Helgen and now we're on our way to Iverstead. That way we can go meet up with the Greybeard. So again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fully sure who the Greybeards are. People are talking about like these people who like don't really interact with the lower world and stuff like that. Are they are they like the, the gods or something or are they like, just like the nobles or, or something. I don't I don't fully get that, like how the hierarchy works in this world fully, I guess. So I don't know, but I guess we're about to find out. 
No point in asking. Ooh, it was snowing. Hamar shame. What what is what is that? Oh, is this a dungeon? Hold up. Hit that quick save real quick. Hamar's cavern. Look, I know I know what I said, guys. We're going to the Greybeards. But you, you can't expect Hello. Oh no, don't hurt me. Thrall. Vampires thrall. What? Oh got vampires? Whoa. Okay. Iron arrow. These are just okay. Chest. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There can't just be one thrall of a vampire here, right? Normally. Okay. Wait. Salt pile. Maybe we should take that. Red apple. Okay. What's going on here? Hello? Oh, that's a trap. Wait, so I'm confused. Vampire dust. Vampire arm. Oh. Wait, that's better than what I have? Wait, that gives me a plus 20 health, though. So. Okay. Dude, I feel so scared to be in first person sometimes. Yes, you heard me. Boom. Boom. Oh, you vampire. So these guys are the actual vampires. Okay. There's someone else here? Where's the other body? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, that was a thrall. Okay. Take a little bit of that meat. Okay. What is this ash pile? Oh, it's because the light hit them. Right? Is that like... No? Okay. I have no idea what I'm talking about. No idea what I'm talking about. Woodcutter's axe. Alchemy lab. So if I want to use this to enchant or disenchant something, I can use it here. It is cool that like I don't just have to go like somewhere specific. Okay. I was hoping I'd get something from these. But no. Wait, what is this? Pretty petty soul gem? No, I didn't want to take the cast iron pot boy's gray tunic. That looks like something a kid would wear. Huh. Uh, store. Chest. And iron shield. Garnet. Oh, that's worth some good stuff. Dude, I'm kind of glad that we went in here, because even if we don't want to use some of this stuff, we can freaking sell it. Oh, there's actually more down here. Potion, blacksmith potion, frost salts, void salts. That's worth a lot, too. I mean, the armor and stuff is worth a lot, but you guys have been telling me, like, I need to, like, just don't worry about picking everything up. You know, just, like, just just pick up what I, I think is neat and what I think I might need and leave it at that. Okay, what's up? What's up? What's up? Who's down here? Hello? Okay. Okay. Those are just thralls. Give me the big guy. Oh, actually, this is the same. Vampire armor of minor destruction. Oh, that's actually better. Okay, hold up. 
vampire armor my destruction then I'll store that fledgling steel sword whatever who cares Wait, why is that steel sword better than what I have right now wait what that shouldn't be possible I have the golden sword which is 1811 yeah I don't I don't get that it was telling me that weapon was stronger than what I had which just isn't true oh down there oh she was just getting confused I saw her stuck down there okay so there actually is an empath down there you're just a fledgling bro you have contracted wait I gotta a, a disease like a vampire thing weak poison stamina poison maybe I'll need this dust you know to get a, a cure or something I don't know so here response to bureau speech Ooh, that got my uh, destruction up ruined book read Dwemer's law okay can always read these books at another time I think a lot of this is just lore though like a lot of them don't give you anything and it's just lore and that's not a bad thing I, I actually like really appreciate lore and stuff and storytelling you know but like when there's so much of it at one time you know, especially when you're recording it's just kind of like nah that's not something I can really afford to do right now okay this leads to a way out so where does the top part lead because we came out from the side entrance yeah there so I have no idea what this leads to does this also lead to outside no no this little grove in here okay oh adept We have a lot of lockpicks, so. Crap. Are you kidding me? I thought that was it. Now go up. No, that's not it. Are you kidding me, dude? There we go. Whew. Lock picking increase 34 lesser amethyst rank. Dude, we are going to be so freaking loaded, man. Ultimate magic potion. All these ruined books. I don't know what they do, but. Okay, what's, what's that bag? Guess it's nothing to worry about. All right, time to get back on the right track where we were going before. Oh, it's still not over? Oh, you spiders do not like freaking fire, bro. Get out of my face with that. Oh, wait, frostbite spiders. I'll actually take the venom from you guys. Uh, search the egg sack. Uh, if I take it, will it, they're not going to like sprout. Please get me out of here. I forgot that when you see the exit to a dungeon in Skyrim, that is not the exit. Use arcane enchanter. Wait, so this is where you enchant something? Uh, oh, it's just like the same thing as before. Uh... I, I, uh, oh, and I can, whoa, what's the redness as the sun's, oh, wait, 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 I, wait, I got inflicted with, 
with with something. Wait, I got inflicted with something. I, I I'm not gonna die when I go outside, will I? It said I got inflicted with something, and I, I I can't go back to that. So I have no idea if if I'm just screwed. So I'll make sure to quick save before I leave, because if I do, I'm gonna have to figure out how to nullify that, or if I have to make something in order to avoid it. Give me that the gem, because it looks like that's the way out right there. I'm a quick save here, and then. Will I touch the sunlight? Will I just... Homie, it's me. Your shield will not protect you forever. Oh, he shield bashed me. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Sorry, I thought you were stronger. Wait, was there nowhere over there? Yeah, that's it. This is the only way out. Okay. Dude, I hope they didn't just turn me into a vampire or something. Dude, this dungeon's going on forever. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, he's a boss. Master he... Oh. Okay. I think it said Master Vampire, didn't it? Oh my goodness, we kind of ended him like, okay. All right, let's uh, save here. Let's save here. Dude, I wanted to, dude, we're 20 minutes in, bro. And we like, I'm supposed to be freaking, wait, F5, okay. Oh, you're the master vampire. Oh, no. Oh, she is like dead, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's, uh, um, we could probably use something that can heal us a good bit. I need to get better at cooking stuff. Do we have so much health potion? Okay. Oof. Oh, no, 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 no. Heal. A potion of health. Um, no way, are you kidding me, dude? They double swung, man. That's not freaking fair. That's not freaking fair, dude. Dude, shout out to the comments that let me know about quick saving because, whoo. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let Lydia handle you for a little bit. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm getting wrecked right now, dude. This is not funny. I don't know what this is happening, bro. How is this happening? Nah, hold up. I need to think about my dignity here. Okay, I've killed everybody else. No, 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 no. Healing, healing, healing. Ah, oh, dude. He resisted the poison effect that I was doing on him. That was annoying. Whew. Vampire armor. 
gold ring, vampire boots. Dude, we're out here fighting vampires and stuff, dude. Whew. Huh, we did it though. We can sell all this gold stuff too. Ash pile, what are they doing here? I thought they like turned to ash if they like went out in the sun or something. An Imperio, this is somebody who died. Horse meat. Um, is this an offering? A leg of a goat. Take all these apples and stuff. So they're definitely sacrificing something for something. You good over there, Lydia? I appreciate you. Dude, I didn't think we were going to be doing a whole dungeon. The gray beard, maybe the gray beards wanted us to do this. You know, like maybe it was all part of the plan for me to go through this or something. That is completely cap, but we 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 move. Okay, steel armor. It's way too heavy. Do not want to do that. Um Mass Paralysis, Staff of Zombies, reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. That's pretty neat. Uh, we have to pull the chain. And now we're out. Time to get to Skyrim. Okay, so we're good. Like I, I feel like we were afflicted by something, but... Oh, yeah, how did we end up here? Where are we at? I mean, we kind of just need to go this way, right? Yeah. All right, Lydia, don't die. Wait, this is, oh yeah, we're technically farther back. Yeah, that cave right there, that's how we were, dang. Okay, so I mean, we didn't get that far off track though. We didn't get that far off track. All right, time to really make some progress. A horse. Can I steal this horse? Somebody's watching me. I'm not going to steal the horse. Wait, hold up. F5? That's going to have some repercussions, bro. I'm telling you. Taking the horse is definitely going to have some repercussions. Like, why would a random horse be here with no owner in sight I don't see no body or nothing so okay uh, maybe the gray beards are like ah I see you've arrived in a timely manner on uh, the back of a steed you are no longer worthy like whoa what does that mean you were supposed to take the arduous path you know of walking here Homie, you're insane. You did not walk here. Whoa. Okay. All right, how do I get off? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Is that what they were trying to do? Make you lose your horse earlier on? Okay, well. Oh, wait, there's a, a house here. All right, stay here. It does the Breath of the Wild thing, too, where, you know, if you don't own the horse, they kind of just, they won't leave, leave, but they'll do their own thing. I'm cleaning this dude out, bro. Glow dust? You got two. Songs of the Return. Don't know about that, but I'll take that healing potion. Your boy kind of just used a bunch of them. Oh, Lydia, don't freaking scare me like that. I was like, who the freak is that? Alchemist Journal. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seemed to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I 
I've collected to grow into the fine and uh, bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current supply is being dwindled. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. Uh, I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. I, th I thought he was going to be like, man, I love um, my horse, man. My horse is so great. Okay, well, we can take all his stuff now because it seems like he may have uh, moved to the beyond if you catch my drift. Hawk feathers. I don't know why I'm getting all this crap, but... Did he leave, bro? Did he leave, leave? Bro, where did my freaking horse go? Fine. If he wants to become clam chowder all on his own. Dang, he was moving too. That dude dipped. It's not like we didn't just come out of danger over there. All right, horse. You do your own thing. I'll do mine. We never met. So don't ever hit me up again. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're still going the right way. It, it wants us to go this way. We're just seeming like we're not going the right way at first. Okay. All right, let's move. Okay, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost here. It, it, it's saying it's right here. Speak to the graybeards. Okay, I, obviously my idea that we were going to have to go up some mountain and ascend to heaven is not what I, <laughs> is not what happened. This looked like some, what? A bear. Oh, no, nah, hold up. No, nah, we about to fight you. Hold up. Oh, crap. You guys told me bears outside of the tutorial area were strong. These boys, that boy was weak, bro. To be fair, Lydia is a freaking champ. Hello. The graveyards have summoned the dragonborn to hide an Oscar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. All right. So the gray beards are just the elders of Skyrim or or something and we have to talk to them and they'll send us to high Hrothgar, which is heaven i guess wait so where are the gray beards at that the building looks like it's broken up uh what did the journal thing say uh speak to the gray beards Okay, well, this is the inn. I doubt they're in the inn. This looks like a town hall area. Klimek's house. I have no idea who Klimek is. Ah, that's it right here. This is where y'all want me to go. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Is that one of the old ones? Okay, maybe this is not the meeting spot. Embalming tool. Okay. Are y'all inside here? No, this is a dungeon. Bro, you guys did not. You guys did not intend for us to come in here. This is not where we're supposed to go, bro. This is not where we're supposed to go. Where the freak are we? Where are we supposed to go? Okay, so one thing I really like about this game that I've kind of noticed here is that this game does the type of environmental storytelling that I really like in a lot of games, especially like ones like uh, Chrono Trigger and stuff too. But uh, you can talk to the NPCs to kind of find out what to do, what the what's the biz, you know, what's happening here. You know, like I just got numerous missions and stuff and found out what to do for the main story all just from talking to that guy. And I think that's pretty incredible, you know, when they do that, you know, I like, I know that seems so simple. It's like, oh, if you don't know what to do, talk to the NPC, you know, but you would not believe how many people don't think to do that because not a lot of games actually go and do that, you know, like they give you a reason to talk to all these nameless NPCs or whatever, but 
yeah, it seems like I need to take up the 7,000 steps and we'll be able to go uh, up to High Hrothgar. So in order to get to High Hrothgar, we need to go through, uh, we needed to come through uh, Iverstead. That's why we had to come here. So apparently um, the Barrow is haunted over there. And it's not helping the business uh, and stuff around here and kind of just keeping everybody on edge. Um, maybe that's also why they don't like magic. But but still, um, I'm probably going to take care of that quest. But I do want to uh, take care of Skyrim. If, uh, if I didn't if I didn't go and do that other dungeon, I would have went and did the Barrow first. But because we already did one, it'll be all right. Emblem one before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Okay. So the dragons have been here since time immemorial. So that a lot of people seem like they were talking a big game about like um the type of uh walk it is. It's like the it's like a journey of like seven thousand steps. Homie, I'm gonna be real. I'm already at 7,000 steps. You know this is more than 7,000 steps. This is more than 7,000 steps. I think we're almost at the end here, though. I kind of wish there was infinite stamina in this game, but I also get why it's not. Oh, hold up. Hello. Who are you? Okay. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Hmm. I see this is a bit of the tale of the beginnings of this world and stuff and how um, the people who were in power, the dragons, you know, eventually fell into obscurity, you know, into almost extinction. Ooh, Ice Wolf, you're a little bit... Whoa, 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 you're a bit stronger. I don't want to use the level up just yet. Oh, my goodness. Well, he uh, is not having a good day. Okay. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Hmm. Okay, so how did it all go wrong, though? How did it all go wrong? For some reason, I was thinking I was at the end, but no, I, I'm, I'm very much not at the end yet. For a second, it started to look like we were going the wrong way or something. Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovakin? Just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. What are you Walking doing? the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I, I love how much voice acting there is in this game. Emblem 4. Kine called... Parthern, Parthernet, Parthernax, who pitied men together, they to get wait, who pitied men together, they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war rage, dragon against tongue. Okay, so we gotta keep going up. Dang, is High Hrothgar really at the very top? I wonder. This is way more than seven thousand steps, bro. I, I at least I think so. Hey, like, I, I feel it, bro. My dogs be barking. Huh, oh, that frost troll. What the freak, bro? I think what? Okay, she lived. Okay. I wasn't sure if she lived. She she knelt down. So I was kind of like unsure if she actually lived or not. Okay, cool. This is number five. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. So they end up winning the, the war, and I'm getting Final Fantasy XIV vibes with the Dragon Song War. 
I know people just love dragons, bro. I have a friend who's just super into dragons, bro. If dragons in the game, that's all you need to hear. That's all he needs to hear. Okay, dang. We're still not there yet, but we're making our way. And number six already? With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, while the dragons withdrew from this world. And that's how it happened. When the humans won, they end up creating an empire. And that's how that ended up happening. And the dragons retreated from the world. So they're still here. They didn't go extinct. They just went into hiding. Which makes the most sense. Humans end up getting too powerful. Hopefully we can knock them down a peg or two because I feel bad for the dragons. Again, I don't know if they were really the good guys or not, but, you know, still. There it is, man. There it freaking is. We made it. I think this is High Hrothgar. High Hrothgar, there it is. Emblem 10, the voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Did we skip some? I feel like I, I missed a couple of them. Okay, well, something that leads back there. Chest empty. I'm not going to search it. I don't want him to say I did something. Cure disease. Dragon's tongue. That's a type of flower. All right. Let's head in to High Hrothgar. Hello. Hello. It's me. Oh, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay. Strike us with the power of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Imagine they just got shot out of the the, the whole place out of High Hrothgar. I speak for the Greybeards. Now tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? You told me to. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You're not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Okay, there might be another Dragonborn out there. Answering your summons. Yeah. What is my destiny? Hmm. You Ready to learn. That you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. A thune. Now let us see if you are willing. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. Fus Rodar. Each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Wait, so does he have it?
Oh, okay. I got it. He, wait, I didn't even use it, though. But learning a word of power. Wait, 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 wait. Shouts. Oh, okay, I just have it. So anybody could use shouts? How are they able to do it? As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of growth. Oh. It's going inside me. Pause. Okay. Okay. Where's the targets? Okay, there. Cool. You hold it. Well done. Again. Okay. Dang. <laughs> Homie, you gotta stay out the the <laughs> the zone, man. You learn quickly. Once more. Okay. Don't worry, I won't do it towards you guys this time. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Thank you, thank you. Dude, sometimes I forget I'm recording. I'm just having fun with Skyrim. Follow Master Bori. Master Bori. I think this is where I was at when I first played this game back in high school. I don't think I did any of the side stuff. I kind of just like basically went straight here after killing the dragon. I think. He went through the loading screen before me. I like that he actually disappeared. This is, I kind of remember something like this. All right, it's the following stuff. We, never mind, we're staying right here. Ooh. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a form. Huh? Power of the word learned whirlwind. Okay, I didn't realize there was more. I didn't realize there were other words we learned besides like Fush or something. Whoa. Ah. All right. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind strength. Then it will be your turn. Whirlwind sprint. Wait, I feel weaker as the sun rises. What does that mean? Wait. Wait, how do I do that? Is that a different thing? Shout, whirlwind sprint. Okay, that is something different. Hold up. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Speak to Arnger for further training. Mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Thank you. What's next? 
for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Ustengrav. To the way of the voice. Why are the dragons returning? Does that have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Hmm. Thank you, Master. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Uh, he was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. So he was a dragonborn too? Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize hmm. that the gods had punished the Nords. It's funny, I've been playing Trails, so when I hear Nords, you know, uh, I'm thinking of the, the Highlands, bro. My man Gaius. <laughs> you know, so I'm not thinking about these guys. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Hmm. So I finally stopped getting led astray by the freaking compass and I checked the map and we actually have to go all the way over here, which is easily the farthest we've ever been. I mean, technically we, we've been to like Helgen, that's, but that's where we started the game. It's definitely the furthest point on the map we will have been to. So I'm probably gonna go, we actually did need to go to Widenhelm too. Um, is this actually a place? Okay, we still can't actually go there so dude there's so much places we need to go we need to go and actually check out the barrow you know we need to do that i'm gonna be real we're probably not gonna get all the way to jurgen um but okay so when i want to go there i'll just go to rorikstead teleport there um cut across head to morthol check out full gunther and solitude and then i'll uh, go to Ustengrav uh, to continue that quest but now I might as well finish the quest in Shroud uh, Hearth Barrow just because it's the closest, you know, like, why not? Like, why not? I don't know. Maybe is it an excuse to do more side stuff? Probably. But you know what? We're all here for that. That's why we're all here. So why not? I say let's go ahead and do it. I probably won't keep a lot of it in because, again, the, the dungeons, you know, it's a dungeon, you know, most people probably are skimming through it. You know, I probably would too, dude. It's just, you know, same thing, tight corridors, enemies, etc. I'll show a little bit of what it looks like and stuff and maybe the ending, but, or at least the spoils of what we get. This actually does look different than what I was talking about though. Like this does look pretty different. So this is the one that they said is, uh, is infected by, a. Uh, ghosts or something hmm. so yeah this is what it looks like definitely looks different than some of the other ones window delius i did not mean to do that i wanted to do this to him Why are you still repeating yourself? Draugr. Okay, well. I'm not gonna leave. Okay, why would we activate a switch here? Before the ages of man. Illusion. Okay. Okay, well. I don't know what these... Ah! Yeah, it's best to quick save before we do anything. But I bet you one of these is the right path, though. One of these opens the door. That closed the door. 
Wait, 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 wait. Did that open the other side door? Okay, so that... There we go. Boom. Huh. Activate chain. Be careful. I feel like I need to quick save before every move I make. Iron door apprentice. Almost first try, though. Almost first try. Okay. Basically, second try. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Oh, you need to use your dash. Um. Okay. Please don't let her walk into that. Oh. What do you think the hurry is? Wait, what happened to me? Hmm. This is a place filled with traps. We need to make sure that we're quick saving at every opportunity. What is that? Okay, hold up. Okay, he's in there. Ooh. Mortal fool. No oh. Whoa, I didn't think he was actually going to I didn't think he was actually going to fight us. I mean, he doesn't seem that tough. Oh, he's got the ice magic though. Filter of the Phantom. Dang, I was kind of hoping he'd give us the ice magic. Actually, I'm kind of wondering, do we have a scroll? Okay. Satchel. Give me that. Another filter of the phantom. The firmament. And then there was another magic from the sky. Okay, we did not get anything from it. That was kind of anticlimactic. I mean at least the rumors were actually true and there was, you know, like a ghost in the in there, but I think that's it. Um, what was it? There was something here. It would be right around here or something. Forbidden legend, miscellaneous. Okay, it was the Shroud Hearth Barrow. That's everything, though. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else we're supposed to get off of him. And, I mean, there's the alchemy lab, which we don't need to use either. Actually, can we make some potions and stuff? What can you make with vampire dust? Potion of unknown effect. Craft. 
potion creation failed. Okay. Yeah, so you actually, you can cook anything, but you you need recipes and stuff so you know what you're making and not just wasting your ingredients, which does make sense. Most people don't want to cook something if they don't, if it doesn't freaking make anything. Oh, that's the fire area. F5. Wait. Have I been here? This is that area. What? No, 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 no. This is a different one. Wait. We don't have the claw. We need the sapphire claw. But we don't have that. Hmm. Well, we might have to say screw this area for now because it's just not here. There's definitely no sapphire claw in this dungeon. It wouldn't just be right here like that. It would be in a very obvious chest of some kind, which it is not. So, oops. Whoa, who are these guys? Fall on deaf ears, deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. You can't predict when a Dragonborn is going to be born and who it is. Whoa. Oh no. Wait, why are the why are the guards attacking me? No, 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 no. Why are the guards attacking me? That doesn't make any sense. Did I accidentally attack them? I didn't mean to. Oh my goodness, bro. Hold up. Is there any scrolls I can use? No. 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 This isn't what I wanted. That kind of made me mad. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. So I'm gonna F5 here. So was that just a random event? I don't kind of don't want to fight them this time. Nah, we're gonna fight them one more time. Oh, oh no, they follow you? Oh, they're waiting on you, bro. If I go this way, Oh no, they're trying to get to you, no. Nah. You there, you're the one they call Dragon. Then it is too late. So we shall, when Lord All right, Dragon whatever, bears, bro. shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Yeah, like, bro. Dude, I don't want to fight him, dude. He's too strong. I need to just focus on one of them. Like, you're weak, bro. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's getting way too powerful. Where's this fire? How is he still alive? He's getting his health back, too. 
There we go. No, dude. I wanted to find out more from him. Come on. Cultist orders. I'm not wearing that stuff. No. All right, let's re let's read the the note. Books. Cultist orders. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Cyrus before he reaches Soul Slime. Return with word of your success, and Mirax shall be most pleased. How do they even know about that? How do they even know about that? Oh, read the Saints Bandit Camp. Okay, did it just not give me the... Oh, I auto accidentally read it. That's how that happened. Yeah, okay, I see. So... Let's uncheck that for now. Travel to Solstheim. Okay, show me that on the map. Um... That is pretty far from where I'm at. Very, very far. But I do have to go to Wim Windhelm anyway. So low key, that might be the next place I go to. I'll probably go to Hildgrun's tomb first just because it's easier to go that way. Then I'll just make my way going that way. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Okay. I, don't know, I, f I feel like I'm never making any progress in Skyrim. Like I'm doing stuff, but maybe it's because th maybe this game is just really long. But I feel like I play for an hour or two hours at a time. And I just, yeah, I feel like I ain't did nothing. Is, is it one of those games? Is, is it just one of those games? You know, so it's hard to tell. Maybe part of me will just start like cutting these up into two episodes or something like this session. I'll be recording this now, but instead of just uploading it, I'll just record another session and splice it together maybe people would like that more but i mean that would probably mean less frequent uploads so i don't know if people would exactly like that more hold up we actually have to find out the sapphire claw i have no idea where the sapphire claw could be but um again i don't know if i'll i'll, I'll do it that way but for now, I think I'll end the video off here. We did multiple dungeons. We did some story and stuff like that, too. And honestly, we didn't get that much story done, like realistically, because, you know, at the end of the day, we still kind of just um, got the shouts, the, the greater shouts, and then just left it at that. So I'm not exactly pleased with how much we did today, but um, still i, I want to have the video out in time and i still enjoy this i think this is a really fun episode there was a lot of action this episode you know dealing with everything from cultists to ghosts uh you know <laughs> meeting the gray beards finally upgrading my shout there a lot did actually happen this episode so i think i am happy with it someone died all the way over here Jeez, how did that happen that fight took place over the whole town but um but yeah i think that's gonna be it for me today thank you all so much for watching um if you guys are excited for more skyrim on the channel alongside bloodborne let me know uh in the comments down below uh, and hit the like button for your boy that's the easiest way to let me know that and subscribing will make sure you're notified for when you know i actually upload this stuff um like i said i plan on uh casually streaming some spider-man 2 and stuff like that you know just so i can finally get through that game and stuff like that i haven't played it yet and all my friends have been nagging at me to play it finally um but i don't really want to have more than two series going on at once on the channel because then it just kind of seems too chaotic for not only new viewers but people you know who are waiting on a specific series like you know you may like the skyrim videos but you're not exactly interested in spider-man you know so it's like i don't want you to feel like every time there's like uh, like uh, some a video goes up it's like dang we gotta wait another week or two before we get more skyrim 
you know, it's like, oh, I got to wait through another Spider-Man and another Bloodborne before I get more uh, Skyrim. You know, I don't want people to feel that way, you know, so just two is fine, you know, and I recommend it even if you've played the games before. I think it'd be fun uh, to play and watch, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kenny Mason. Remember, everyone, to play some games, have some fun and enjoy your day today. <laughs>